Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. We are here again, it is Monday, I hope you all had a great weekend and because it's Monday that means one thing, we are back with a brand new team to play for the next two weeks on the channel and as you can see on the screen in front of you, this is the team that we will be playing, it is going to be centred around Zygarde and Sogaleo. So, one of the things that I would like to do with this team is mimic exactly what we did with the Kurem White build. I feel like this particular combination has a lot of potential and this team starting off is kind of like the common build that you would normally see and I'm sure many of you faced a similar build to this already in this format but what I would like to do is take it a little bit deeper test it out see what the weaknesses are and see if we can put our own twist on it overcome and patch up some of those weaknesses some of those worse off matchups that we might come up against and then end up with a really solid finished polished article a week on Friday which would be a lot of fun to do and I feel like doing this sort of thing throughout this battle series is really beneficial not just for me and the team building but to show to yourselves so you can take these principles into your own testing and make changes and adjustments accordingly against the threats and things that you might be struggling with so you can have that finished team to take into a tournament and have a lot of success with. So I hope it is something that you do enjoy and of course if you enjoy this sort of content make sure that you do Drop a like on the video, it's just down below. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily episodes and also leave a comment as well. Let me know what your thoughts are on the team and also on the battles that we have throughout the next couple of weeks because I love hearing from you all. As always, the team is in the description down below. There will be a poker paste and a roll paste of the team for you guys to have a look at. Check out the spreads, movesets and things like that for us starting off today. And also, if you want to try it out, go ahead and do that. But let me know how you get on with it if you do test it out out at all but it's gonna be a lot of fun so without further ado I guess let's just get into it guys let's pop some music on and uh, hop on to the battle spot ladder and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent but bigger news last week we got the Pokemon Direct generation 8 has now dropped which is incredible um, and I was just so hyped when that that direct came out I had to sneak away at work to watch it in like this little room so I could just watch it and see it uh, unfold and all the starters and things get revealed and stuff like that so it was amazing um, and it was just like incredible and team Sobble all the way we'll touch on that a bit later because we've got our first opponent and a special opponent for us to kick off with so we will go into team preview. This is my good friend Stu, who is a, a good old patron and part of the Flinch squad. So Stu, good luck my friend. Always a pleasure playing you and you have an incredibly interesting build here with Groudon, Tepelele, Mewtwo, Whimsicott, Amoongus and Incineroar. So huh, the Groudon is going to be a bit tricky for us to deal with for sure because we do have the Sogaleo that we really want to be taking advantage of, especially for that Mewtwo and the Tapu Lele here. Um, we do have the Phytinium on the Sogaleo so we can nuke that Incineroar at any point we want. Uh, Sogaleo has a really nice time against the Amoongus, the, the Whimsicott, the, even the Mewtwo and the, the, the Tapu Lele to be honest. So protecting that is going to be a big prerogative in this match. I think we do want some terrain control with Tapu Fini. We're going to see Tailwind potentially from the Whimsicott but I can't discount that it could be Trick Room as well so let's see what we can do here um, I think Intimidate is going to be super important especially with Incineroar I am going to lead off with Sogaleo um, and I think you know I want Zygarde and Tapu Fini here it makes sense to bring Venusaur because of the speed control that we've got and Venusaur is like really good but the two psychic types on the opposing side of the field kind of put me off a little bit so I'm going to bench it for this first one and we'll get into it. Good luck, Stu. And a uh, big shout out to you, my friend. And uh, this should be a good one. Stu's having an absolute storming start to the Flint Squad circuit this season. So um, it's not going to be just that easy, but um, it looks like he might be testing this team out. But uh, always fun to play them. We're going to see the Mewtwo and the Whimsicott come out. And it's a shiny, shiny Mewtwo and shiny Whimsicott as well. Nice, all the shinies here. So. We'll lead off with Sogaleo and Incineroar. So not a bad lead from us. We can't underestimate what might be coming out from that Mewtwo. It's a little bit unpredictable. So we have to be a little bit careful around it. And obviously we don't want to get stuck in any sort of encore shenanigans from the Whimsicott. But at the same time, the Whimsicott cannot encore our Incineroar. So we're pretty free just to go for the fake out into that slot. And potentially just take it down. But I do fear that it probably... Hmm... You've got to wonder as well, the Tapu Lele could come in, get the Psychic Terrain, a blocker, fake out. Um, one of the things I could do, just to be on the safer side of things, we're probably going to see a, a 
Tailwind here. It's just knock off the Mewtwo um, and Sunsteel Strike into the Whimsicott. Because if the Lele comes in there, then we can catch it pretty hard. Yeah, so there we go. Tapu Lele coming in to block the fake out like we thought, but we're not going to fall for that one. Although we normally do. <laughs> okay, what is this? Fight Tidium! <laughs> this is going to be Focus Blast. I'm going to say Sogaleo should take this. Should take it. All our pummeling. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be into Incineroar, of course. Yeah, that makes way more sense, doesn't it? I'm sitting here thinking, well, you would only attack the... Uh... Yeah, it does take us down. I think you need to be modest, unless Timid has a real good... Like, it just has a roll, so... But um, we should be able to take down this Tapu Lele here. And then we can overwrite the um, the terrain by getting our Tapu Finian next turn. So yeah, we get rid of the Tapu Lele, which is nice. You know the Groudon's lurking in the back, though, that's the thing. And without our Intimidate, it's not, not the best. But we'll bring in... Yeah, we'll bring in Tapu Fini here. Just to get rid of this psychic terrain, so yeah. I mean, it is kind of conflicting with the Whimsicott, so there's a part of me that thinks is this Whimsicott chlorophyll? Could potentially be. Just because it doesn't make too much sense to have it in there with the, the psychic terrain, but I mean, at the same time, it's it's, it's alright, isn't it? So I think what we do, I could, I really feel like we're gonna see, um, I really feel like we're gonna see a trick room from this Whimsicott here. <laughs> for some reason, for some reason, I really do. I'm gonna swagger my Sogaleo and I'm gonna go for yeah, Sunseal Strike into the Mewtwo. We're not gonna be outspeeding our Sogaleo. Whimsicott gonna switch straight back out, baiting us in, I think. Groudon gonna hit the field now. No Trick Room or Tailwind there from the Whimsicott, which is interesting. Preserve that for later on. What's the Mewtwo gonna do? It's used its Z move, it is going for the Shadow Ball. Okay. I mean, I don't mind this too much either because we'll be able to probably outspeed the guard on the next turn, I think. And we still got Zygarde in the back, so we're not in the worst place. We've got Y Guard as well that we can utilize. Um, me too, gonna. Yeah. And I mean, what we could do is just Y Guard, well, Protect and Icy Wind. That's not a bad idea for this next turn. And then, like, plus two, Sogaleo is just gonna destroy everything I feel so we'll just protect here I wonder if a plus two Phytinium Z will get the um, all out problem will get Groudon I want to say no because Groudon is just so monstrously bulky but at the same time you know, me too gonna protect here okay I mean that's a small protect because you're kind of probably suspecting that we would go for the icy wind here anyway precipice blade is gonna come out it does hit Tapu Fini. Hmm, taking us down to half health. It's not ideal, is it? Need to get the speed drop on the ground on. Let's see. I wonder if we'll take a. Yeah, we should just take. I mean, depending on the roll, we should take a Shadow Ball. It's just. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, do we go Z-move though? The Z-move is going to be the most powerful thing we've got. I just don't feel like it's going to be enough. We've got Icy Wind again. And all our pummeling. Side Strike. It's going to be into Tapu Fini here. I wonder if we can take this without the train. No. Definitely not. Mewtwo so strong. We need the Z. We are plus two. We are plus two. I just don't know if this is going to be enough. I think this is for the Sorgelium Z. We would be able to take the Groudon down for sure, but. Mm. It depends. It depends. Plus two. Plus two. We are plus two. I <laughs> just keep telling myself that and it's going to make a difference. Oh, we get it! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Back in the game, boys. Back in the game. Okay, so we get rid of the big threat. And now we can get 
big old Zygarde in. So the Mewtwo has, it's got Shadow Ball, Psy Strike, yeah, it's not got Ice Beam, so we're all right. What's this Whimsicott got though? That's the other thing. Hmm. So you gotta wonder what the Whimmy's got. Um, let's go a thousand arrows and do we just stun steel strike? Um, we don't want to protect in front of Whimsicott. Heck no, because we'll just get on cord and then he's just useless. So I think we do probably take this roll wise. Yes, 10, 10. Moonblast, it's gonna be into Sogaleo, I reckon. No. Huh. And now we're going to be able to close this one up. Yeah, we see that as a life orb. Uh, Whimsicott. Um, and you can tell from the, the, the first Shadow Ball roll, like we should have taken it. So maybe the first one was a bit higher, the second one a bit lower. So we get a bit fortunate possibly with that. So I'd imagine the two hit KO is a roll. It's along the lines, but 1,000 hours now. Where we've got extreme speed, so we'll be able to pick up the, um, the knockout, if not the next turn. Not this turn, but uh, very good game to stew. Always a pleasure to play you, and what a good game to kick us off with today. So, team doing all right, and we'll continue on to our next opponent, guys. So, well, it's always nice to start with a new team with a win, of course. Um, but what a great team that Stu had. That was a really, really nice team. Mewtwo putting in a lot of work. And Mewtwo was one of the things that I was really thinking about playing um, on the channel this week. But um, talking about things playing on the channel, so it is coming up to the end of the Moon series very soon. We're probably gonna have time for at least one more team um, to play before we go into the Ultra series. So one thing I do wanna ask you guys is, if you can, if you've got any burning desire for any sort of team that you would like to see played on the channel before we kick into the Ultra series, let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to hear and try and fit in as many of the teams that you'd like to see played before we do go into the Ultra series and say, Bye bye, adios to the Moon series, which will be, like I say, very soon. I am starting, and or have already started, to do the Ultra Series guide, so they'll be ready for when the, the Ultra Series does kick into effect. So that's another thing to uh, make sure that you do hit that little old subscribe bell down there to make sure that you don't miss them if they're the sort of things that you like on the channel. I'm really looking forward to releasing these guides and putting a lot of work into them, and I think comprehensively they're probably the best guides that I've done on the channel since I've started doing YouTube. So um, hopefully they're some use to you guys they were a lot of fun making them and uh, they've got a lot of content inside each one so there is five in total covering everything you need to know about the ultra series hopefully <laughs> there might be a few things but I think you can refer back to a lot of the old guides that kind of still sit kind of true in the ultra series as well although there are a few differences but we did a bunch of moon as well but we got an next opponent so getting on to this we'll hop into team preview And Dogukan is playing a team of Groudon Ho or Cortana, Tapu Fini, Whimsicott, and Incineroar. So a really nice core here as well. I love that Groudon Ho or combination. It's it's a, it is a favourite combination of mine. I do think like it's it's very good. You've got the support and cast of Cortana, um, then the Tapu Fini, obviously the Whimsicott and Incineroar with Intimidate and Fake Out support. So lots of fire things going on here. Zygarde is so good against this team, we have to be a little bit careful with the Whimsicott, I guess, but um, as long as we can keep our Misty Terrain up on the field, Zygarde does such good work against the, the Hot or and everything like that. I think what we'll do is lead off uh, Tempo Finney and Cineral. Um I think we'll bring Zygarde and, yeah, so, mm, Sogaleo, hmm, mm, 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 mm. Sogaleo, yeah, let's bring it. <laughs> We've got White Guard, I guess. It's not the best thing to bring in this match, but it's probably, uh, well, Venusaur's not bad, but if the sun disappears and then we don't have it, then it's tricky to deal with that hot or either way, unless it's a slow, really bulky one, which quite possibly could be. It's going to have Tailwind, though. That's the options, I would say, on my opponent's side of the field. Um, maybe Trick Room with the Whimsicott again. Uh, I always do wonder about that when, when I do see a Whimsicott, especially with the ground on. Because um, it can it can learn trick room and it can really throw you off, especially in these sort of best of one situations where um, you're kind of relying on it being one thing and then it flips being the other and then you just lose the game because of that assumption. So uh, we are going to see the Groudon Incineroar come out for my opponent. We're going to lead off with our Incineroar and Tapu Fini. You see that our Incineroar I think is the faster one here. 
Yeah, getting our intimidate off first. So, um, mm -mm -mm. what do we do? We could switch in Zygarde, to be honest. Um, or we could just trade fake outs. I think that's quite a nice thing to do. Although I feel like my opponent probably switches their Incineroar out, to be honest. Um, so we could just swagger our own Incineroar slot and just switch the Zygarde in there. Then get it powered up, get it in, start doing some stuff with it as soon as we can. Got to worry a little bit about the uh, the Grandium Z on the, on the Groudon. But after an Intimidate, I think both... Finny and Zygarde will be able to take these pretty comfortably. We're going to see a fake out into the Finny here. We could have just traded fake outs, but we're going to see a stomp and tantrum instead from the Groudon now. Um, good job we didn't fake it out because that does trigger its um, ability to be uh, doubled in power. So I, we will go Swagger again. Um, we could go Coil as well just to be absolutely insanely overpowered. Um, and I don't feel like too out of place doing that to be honest. Um, the Groudon, like I say, could have the Z move, but if we coil on top of the Intimidate, it's minus two. It's not going to be picking up the knockout on Zygarde at all. I would imagine that Zygarde would probably outspeed this Groudon, but it may not as well, so we can't just assume things, but we'll see what my opponent goes for here. So now we're going to switch out now, and we're going to see a whole O hit the field, which I do not mind at all. And we'll get this swagger off. You do not miss. It's always one of the worries when you are self swaggering. If you do miss yourself, it's such a waste of a move. We do hit and we get this coil off before the Groudon. So we're supercharged side guard right now. Let's see what this Groudon decides to go for. Just another stomping tantrum. This time into the Finny to get some damage on there. So I think what we'll do now is we'll switch Finny out. We'll bring Incineroar in and uh, we'll just throw out. We'll start throwing out these thousand arrows because we got plus three now and we're still going to be able to do some decent damage at the same time. So I think Zygarde does really well against Hot or in general, especially with the Misty Terrain support. So you can't be burned from the Sacred Fires um, and you can ground it. And then the next turn you're going to be hitting it for like super good damage. So it's not the worst Pokemon at all. Um, it kind of has that little bit of an advantage over Groudon in this matchup, I feel. So Groudon going to withdraw. I'm going to see Incineroar, I guess probably hit the field now yeah to get that intimidate take us down to plus two but i mean still plus two you've got to say you're still going to be hitting pretty hard at the same time um and with the coil we the defensive boost that we've got we've got the brave bird coming in from the hot or now the bravest bird of them all where's it gonna hit into zygarde yeah uh he wanted to take us down be below the 50 percent so we can get the power construct we haven't had that yet so wow bye bye incineral hot all grounded I didn't expect it to take it down. Hmm. That's kind of nice. I guess Groudon will probably come out now. Oh, Cortana. I mean, don't mind that really at all. We'll switch Incineral out, bring Sogaleo in. Um, and we'll just go for another thousand arrows. A Cortana is not going to be touching us. I mean, it can Sacred Sword. Definitely can Sacred Sword us. And it will, okay, no, but that the Sacred Sword just ignores any stat boosts and stuff like that, so that's something that we can, um, go on, hit the Zygarde, please, please, yay, no, oh, are you kidding, oh, I don't know if we can win this one now, ah, oh. that is so frustrating, Critical hit Brave Bird. Ugh. I mean, you saw how much damage it did the first time around. <sighs> okay. Um, I can't let this Hot or. I can't let the Hot or recover here. I really can't. Um, because it's definitely got it. I think I'm going to have to go fake out since you're striking into the Hot or. Because I can't let this thing recover now. We need to get rid of it. That's the big thing that we need to do. Cartana might switch out for Groudon because it's threatened by a fake out. Uh, the all up pummeling might stay in as well. Man, that's super frustrating. Yeah, there's a Groudon uh, coming in for the Cartana. 
Hmm. Yeah, so this would be enough to take down that hot oil. It's a bit trickier now though, because you've got to contend with these stomping tantrums um, from the ground on. Terrain disappears from the field. Oh, losing Zygarde like that is really disappointing. Really disappointing, but there's nothing we can do about it. We can only try and close this one out now. I think we definitely need our Intimidate back onto the field. Um, I'm just going to protect. Mm. Um, bring Tepu Fini back in. Potentially will take a Sacred Sword here, yeah, so... I don't think, like, a Precipice Blades would be ideal. Precipice Blades, Sacred Sword, it'll proc our barrier on Affinity and put us into way better shape going into this next turn. So let's just see what my opponent decides to do. He has revealed the Stomp and Tantrum already, so whether or not... You've got to have Precipice Blades. Maybe not, though. Let's see. Oh, we'll get Finny in. It's just for the fact that we need to have that Intimidate again onto these two Pokemon, really. So we'll protect Sogaleo. There's a sacred sword. Yep. We're gonna see Precipice Blades. Yeah, there we go. Ugh, this is gonna be really close. Depends how this Groudon's built, whether we take this or not. No. Hmm. Okay, we'll get Incineroar in. Oh, this is going to be really tricky. The Cartana revealed Detect though, earlier on, didn't it? Detect. Um, I want to say that it probably will. Because <sighs> we could just go Phytinium into Groudon and fake it out. I feel like if anything protects here, it's the Cartana. Not the Groudon. So we'll go into the Groudon. Yeah, there's the Detect. I reckon Groudon doesn't. So we can get the Z move into it. Yeah. Okay. And I reckon the Cartana is sashed as well. I would think it's sashed. But we need to make sure that we are taking this Groudon on the next turn. Which is kind of important for us. So hopefully this does enough damage for us. They like to put it in range for us and still strike. Which it should do, I would imagine. Because the next turn we can just Flare Blitz and still strike the ground on. Oh, that is nowhere near enough. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um. Okay. Stomping Tantrum is going to be double power now. Um. Hmm. Does it press up his blades? Or does it stomp in Tantrum? Like, if my opponent's smart, they stomp in Tantrum. We haven't revealed Wide Guard, though, so we could Wide Guard. And Flare Blitz. Cartana. Hmm. I think we need to Flare Blitz the Groudon, to be honest. More than anything. And then get it in range for a Sunsteel Strike. I hope it goes press up his blades here. That's all we can hope for. I mean, after the, we've not had the best of luck with that Brave Bird earlier on. It kind of wrecked the game for us a little bit. Sacred Sword to Incineroar. Okay, okay Precipice Blades. Excellent. Okay. <sighs> Maybe this is going to be enough to proc our own berry. If it is, that would be an ideal. Nah, it's not, is it? Ah, oh, we're in... We are in Sacred Sword range now. I'm going to Sunseal Strike the Groudon. Um, and we will we'll Flare Blitz the Cortana. It puts it back on to, um, to neutral. Yeah. I don't think it's got Knock Off though. So it has the Sacred Sword, our Sogaleo. It does get the Beast Boost. We just need this to take down the Groudon. And then we, we hopefully should be able to win. Even after the bad RNG roll we had earlier on. So. Yeah, we take down the ground on. Finally. Should have been a lot easier than that. 
But I mean, it's what you get putting Zygarde onto like plus three. I think this turn, what we'll do is just Sunseal Strike and then we can superpower the next turn. We should be able to take at least, it should be a three hit kill, whatever this Carton is hit us with. Pending critical hits or anything like that. We've already had a fair share of them as well. Hmm. Let's see what this does. Neutral. Oh yeah, I mean, we all day long. All day long we're doing this, aren't we? Yeah. It does nice damage, and like the superpower should be enough now to take it down. And we've got super, super power, which should, like I say, take this Cortana down and win us the game. Ooh, detecting. Hmm. I mean, what we could potentially do is just go Sun Seal Strike again, definitely put it in range, but. It's kind of alright, isn't it? This is probably going to take us down. We're not even being fifty percent, so we've got, like the Cartana is going to struggle to even get us. And then, in like four hits, it's going to need a big crit. Yeah. And I don't even think the next one will take us down if this misses. But it doesn't miss, and we get the chaos. A very good game to my opponent, and we pick up another win, which is an extremely good start for us today. And uh, we'll wrap things up there, guys. So I really hope you have enjoyed today's episode. It has been really fun playing this team so far, and I'm really looking forward to delving a lot deeper into the games as we go on this week with this team, and then looking at how we might change things as we go forward. But um, all in all... Groudon matchup isn't the best for us, so we faced two Groudon teams today and we've kind of come out on top of those pretty well, pretty comfortably as well, so that's really good news for the team, being able to perform there and we haven't really relied so heavily on the Venusaur that you would think maybe we would, we would do in those matches, so uh, we will round it up there guys, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I hope you have a great evening, we'll be back for more battle series on our next episode, so until then take care of yourselves and... Team preview going crazy. I'm going to say goodbye. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.